We wanted to see what life is like under the Taliban. We traveled to Afghanistan and managed to spend two days in Taliban territory. We kind of often do this when we're working together is we start off with, okay, what's the dream? And then let's break it down and try to do it. This was an assignment where they said, listen, we've decided to allow you into these areas. We will answer your questions. We don't like you. We don't love you being here. But we recognize that in this moment in time, it is politically expedient for us to do, uh, to do this. We were obviously wearing the full facial veil, the niqab. On the one hand, it allows me to be invisible. On the other hand, it inhibits the way you interact with people. They don't want us to walk outside with the government because I'm a woman. And we weren't just wearing it for security reasons. That was, of course, a part of it. But we were wearing it because we were required to wear it. And that was something our host very much wanted to make sure that we understood. We worked very closely with an Afghan filmmaker, Najibullah Qureshi. He was really the one with the stellar reputation uh, that allowed him to bring myself and Selma into Taliban territory. I fundamentally believe that this story could not have been done by a man. No one would ask your name. No one would really ask where you were from because you were women with an Afghan man. And it would be rude, in a sense, to that Afghan man to ask personal questions about who you were or where you were from. It was interesting, though, as women to be in those women's quarters and have that, you know, that mm -hmm. distance that the men have to create. They were so polite and they, and they wanted to keep speaking to us. Um, they brought us out the best food they have, the best bedding they had. Um, it was just really kind to see that very familial part of Afghanistan. <laughs> 